morning everyone and happy Tuesday. I have officially launched my book as you would have seen in last week's video. So if you haven't already purchased it, head to FrenchyByChelseaElizabeth.com. You can buy it as an ebook or a hard copy book. I will show you the book later on in this video, so stay tuned. But before we begin, don't forget to give this vlog a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button and come and join the Frenchie fam. I'd love to have you on board. Now it's around 11 a.m. and I have the late shift this week, which means that I start work at midday. So I'm getting ready to head off to work. I'm all dressed for the day and I've been doing a lot of Frenchie admin this morning, just getting like postage organized and little bits and pieces. So it's been a busy morning, but it's been really good. It looks like a very nice day outside. So I'm looking forward to going out for a walk, getting some sun and then grabbing a coffee because that's much needed this morning. But I thought I'd check in with you here. We'll keep tabs throughout this video and I'll fill you in more about my book launch and what I'm up to at the moment throughout the vlog. So without further ado, let's get this video started. It's around 10 p.m. and I'm slowly getting ready for bed. I thought I'd quickly check in with you guys and let you know that I'm getting ready to send off my first orders of the book. So a big thank you to everyone who, who's purchased a copy. It's so exciting. But um, yeah, I'll be shipping those out tomorrow. So I've just written some thank you cards because everyone who buys a hard copy version of the book will get a handwritten note. So I've just done that and I think it's time to unwind before bed. And I thought I'd quickly show you my book. Yay! So here's a quick look at my book. It's a coloured book, which I think is really special. It's not just the kind of book that you read and then forget about. It is a beautiful book, so you could put it on display. And I mean, it's just stunning. The quality is really good. It's very sturdy. As you can see, there's kind of a variety of different layouts, some quote pages. And yeah, it's a great, great guide for anyone wanting, you know, a bit of inspiration and to just know that their dreams are possible. You can do it. So that's what my book is all about. We've got the blurb on the back there, but I'll show you more of it soon. I thought I'd just give you a quick look. Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. We made it to the middle of the week. Now, it's around 9 a.m. and I'm up bright and early. Even though I don't start work until 12, I'm ready to go for the day because I have a few things to tick off the list this morning, like going to the supermarket, getting my nails done, and also posting the first orders of my book, which is very, very exciting. So. Yeah, I'm going to have quite a busy morning and then I start work at 12, which means I don't have too long, but it's enough time to get a few things done. And then I'll check back in with you either tonight or tomorrow because I do have days off tomorrow and Friday. So I'll be filming a lot then because I work on the weekends every second week. So this weekend I'm working, um, which is why I have tomorrow and Friday off. But I thought I'd quickly show you my OOTD this is all from Forever New, this top and this skirt. So that's my look for today. Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. It's around quarter past 10, and I'm heading off to brunch at Collective Espresso, which is a cafe in Camberwell. I haven't been there before, but I'm looking forward to trying out their menu. And as you guys have seen in this series, I've been sampling out so many different cafes across Melbourne. They've all honestly been great. And I've been posting photos on my Instagram. So have a look at my Insta if you want to see more of them. But I'm looking forward to brunch today. I'm quite hungry. And as always, I think I'm going to order a smashed avo. I'm a creature of habit. But anyway, also on the agenda for today is personal training. I'm getting my hair done and I'm also getting acupuncture. I try and jam pack as much into my days off as possible. So I also had a chiropractor session this morning, feeling very adjusted and very balanced. You know, I do work in quite an intense job. So for me on my days off, I try to practice as much self-care as possible. And if that means, you know, jam packing these appointments into the day, that's what it is. But you know, it's really important for me to maintain my health 
And for me, I feel good when I feel good on the inside and outside. So that's why I've got all of these appointments booked in. But yeah, I'll keep you posted along the way. Anyway, let's go get a coffee because as per usual, I desperately need one. Here she comes like the rays of the sun she shines. in Camberwell. I've got my smashed avo and my almond cappuccino. I'm so keen for this. It looks so good. So bon appetit. I am heading off to personal training now. It's later in the afternoon, so I've got my gym gear on and I'm actually going to St. Kilda today because they've banned us from bringing visitors into the communal areas of our building, which is actually pretty annoying. But in this climate of coronavirus, I guess they're just trying to do their own, you know, preventative measures. Um, but it does mean that I need to get in the car and head off to see Marie. But Marie is such a great trainer and I'm looking forward to our session. So I'll speak to you soon. I'm going to be so tired afterwards. I just know it. Squeeze at the top. Nice work, Charles. <laughs> Sets my soul on fire and helps me unwind. I just got home. I have put my pajamas on because I am so tired. I had acupuncture though, so I'm feeling very zen, a bit more sleepier than usual than, you know, I would at 8 p.m., but feeling really good. Acupuncture is just my favorite thing. It's like my ultimate self-care ritual, and I really look forward to getting it done on a monthly basis. So I had that done by Rhiannon at the Health Press on High Street in Windsor would highly recommend. So I'm feeling very zenned out, very balanced. And now it's time for dinner. I thought I'd show you what I'm having for dinner tonight because if you watched last week's video, you would have known that I've just started a subscription service with Live Solara and they are a meal delivery service. Tonight I'm having this dish. It's like a mushroom stew with black garlic mash. I haven't tried it before, looking forward to it. So I'll give this one a go, but I've been loving their meals because it just gives you variety in your diet. You know, from both a dietary perspective, it's really good to have a variety of fruits and vegetables and, you know, grains and etc. But also just on a mental level, like I kind of got sick of having the same meals all the time when I was buying the David Jones meals. I loved them, but there weren't too many plant-based options in their range. So at least with this delivery service, it changes. They're constantly updating their menu and there are so many meals to choose from. So much so that each night it's actually exciting seeing, you know, what I can have for dinner in the fridge. I'm often just standing there for like five to 10 minutes being like, oh, what one should I try? You know, based on all the different elements, I usually bring them out and compare the pairs. But um, yeah, tonight this is actually my last meal until tomorrow because tomorrow I'll get a new shipment of meals. So I'll let you know what I think of this one, but looks good to me. Anyway, I'm going to get that ready. I might steam some carrots as well just to add them into the mix. And other than that, I'm having a very chilled out night. I need it. I've jam packed a lot today. <laughs> Um, but it's been really good. Like I've had a very productive day, but I'm looking forward tomorrow to having a bit more of a quiet afternoon, I think. There are all the ingredients. It sounds so nice. I wish I could pronounce this word, but I'll probably say it wrong. So let's just pretend that I can say it. So yeah, that's my dinner for tonight. Going to heat it up now and serve it with some carrots. Also, I know it's like really dark in here at the moment, but I'm trying not to like wake up too much after getting acupuncture. I don't want to like put all of the lights on and then feel like really awake and alert because I'm in such a calm state at the moment. So I'm just trying to prolong it as long as I can. Anyone else? 
So I've just finished heating everything up and steaming the carrots. It doesn't look the best, but once I mix it all together, I know it's going to taste really good. I thought I would do a taste test of this black garlic mash. It smells so delicious. And I don't think I've had mashed potato in ages, so I am keen for this. That is so good. Oh my gosh, yum. Mmm. I'm in heaven. Yes to the mash. Yes to the mash. Okay, I actually think I should mix it all together, but I'll also try a bit of the sauce just to show you guys. That's beautiful. And it's a red wine sauce, so it's very rich, very nourishing, and I feel like this is perfect after acupuncture. Bon appetit, guys. I will speak to you soon. <laughs> Once I finish eating, because I'm so hungry. For most of my life To have this love come And bury my strife And carry on Probably the best smashed avo I've ever had from all of the cafes I have visited it was just perfection so I'm very satisfied with that I've just had my live Solara delivery for the following week so I have nine meals in total which I'm really excited about they all look so good but this looks like it's going to be my favorite it's called the Nirvana carbonara and all of the meals are plant-based, so it's not going to be like a heavy, creamy carbonara, more of a healthy version with the cauliflower sauce. Keen to try that. We've got the Golden Glow Stir Fry, which I had last week and I fell in love with. And also, I mean, I could go through all of them, but I'll let you know each week what are my favorites. And I'm also keen to try these Singapore Spirit Noodles. So those are the meals that I have for the week from Liv Solara, not just these three, but nine in total and i also forgot to tell you guys that i scored some toilet paper today which is quite actually unique because it's so hard to find toilet paper as you probably know and living by myself it's a bit of a struggle like if i run out of toilet paper what am i gonna do like i don't have anyone in this building who i really know who i could borrow some from or anything i think we're all in the same boat though to be honest but I was so happy to find a pack in Brighton. So, you know, feeling good. Um, feel like I'm prepared for the week ahead. And if I do, you know, have any leftover meals, I'm just going to freeze them. That way I've got them in the freezer just in case. So that's my little haul for today. Good afternoon, everyone. It's around 4 p.m. And I'm going to be honest with you. I just woke up from a nap because it's been a big day. I had a photo shoot this morning for my book launch. I'm wanting to get some really cool images to kind of like promote my book on Instagram, on my blog and just across socials. So that was done. That was really good. The photographer Gina was so lovely and really made me feel comfortable through the whole experience. So that was lots of fun, but that was at 9 a.m. And then straight from there, we headed to Busy Boy in Mentone for an Instagram collaboration, which I love, by the way. I am obsessed with trying different places for brunch. It's become like 
a really fun pastime of mine at the moment. So I'm really enjoying it and it means that I get to see new places, which I'm quite a creature of habit. I know I always order the same brunch, but just going to different places is really exciting and different every time. So that's been really good. And then I had a meeting before and I had a quick nap. Now I'm heading into the city to go and post some orders at the post office and just to get a walk in because I haven't been too active today. So it'll be good to go for a walk around the city. So I've got my Montclair jacket on that you would have seen me purchase a few vlogs back now, but it's so cute. I'm obsessed and it's nice and warm because it's quite fresh outside. So I'm going to enjoy a big walk around before I honestly come home and get ready for bed. I thought I'd show you guys what I'm having for dinner tonight. I've got the golden glow stir fry. I tried this last Friday and fell in love with it. So I think it's going to be my Friday night dinner from now on. And then I'm also loading up on extra veggies. I've got this veggie mix from DJ's from the food hall and I'm going to steam these up and add these into the bowl as well. So that's my dinner for tonight. I've been waiting for most of my life. How good does this look? It's the stir fry from Solara. We've got some tofu in there, a bit of like a tofu mince, and it just smells honestly divine. So I can't wait to dig in. Bon appetit. I also managed to squeeze in a bit of a clean of my bedroom today, and bed just looks so much better now that everything's all tidy. Thought I would do a little proud cleaning moment on here. It's around 10 p.m. now and I've had an epiphany. I think I realized today that I'm not prioritizing rest time. You know, I've had my two days off, but I have jam-packed so much into them to the point where I am honestly exhausted. I'm so tired. I feel like a zombie. <laughs> and yeah, I just... I don't know, like I really need to prioritize, you know, whether it's an hour or half an hour to just doing nothing, no working on Frenchie, no cleaning my apartment, no working, just resting. And that's really difficult for me. I'm sure some of you guys can relate to that feeling where you can't sit still, like you want to always be doing something or you feel guilty if you're not doing something. But I think it's really important to you know, just switch off sometimes. And especially from social media, from emails, you know, I'm constantly checking socials at the moment because also like I want to stay in the loop for work. But I think, yeah, that's something going forward for next week. One of my goals is to have more rest time. So let's see if I can do that next week. Let's make each other accountable. Let me know what your goal is for next week. But I'm heading off to bed because I do have work tomorrow at eight. So I'll be waking up at 6.30 bright and early to head there. So I definitely need to get my eight hours because I don't think I can survive on any more sleep deprivation. We definitely need to get a full night of sleep tonight. Good evening, everyone, and happy Saturday. It's around 7 p.m. I'm fresh faced in my pajamas and ready for dinner. I thought I'd check in with you guys and say hello. There is so much happening in the world right now. It's feeling very uncertain and things are changing every single day. But if you are watching this, just know there's always hope and we're going to get through this together. Let's all just, you know, be there for each other and really support one another through this time. So if you do need anything at all, just know that the Frenchie fam is here for you. And yeah, we love you and support you. So I am about to have some dinner from the Live Solara range. And yeah, that's about it. I'm having a really chilled out night because like I mentioned yesterday, I haven't been prioritizing my rest time, like just doing nothing. So that's my plan for tonight, to do nothing. I also received the most beautiful delivery from Lindy, who is my dear friend living in Adelaide, but we connected online and, you know, we've caught up in real life and been friends ever since. She bought me the most stunning earrings from Angelina Alvarez. I just love the plate that this pearl sits on. How stunning are these? I can't wait to wear them. They're very regal looking, but also just very funky and very much like my style. So thank you, Lindy, so, so much. And she even bought me a really cute bookmark, especially because, you know, I launched a book. It's very fitting. And I love the quote. It says, quiet the mind and the soul will speak. 
So a big shout out to Lindy and just to all of my friends who have really spoilt me this week. Thank you so much. I have definitely fulfilled my goal of doing nothing tonight. I've just been watching a show called Absentia on my laptop in bed. Very much a relaxed Saturday night, which I desperately needed. So it's been really good. I'm feeling very sleepy, probably looking very sleepy too. So a big thank you guys for watching this video, for dealing with me in my pajamas almost every night. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up Click that subscribe button and let me know what you want to see more of in this series. As much as this series is about my life, I'd love to know what aspects of my life you guys want to see more of or hear more about. So let me know and don't forget that you can buy my book now at FrenchyByChelseaElizabeth.com. All you do is click on the products tab and then you can either purchase the hard copy book, the physical book or the ebook, the digital copy. So I can't wait to hear your feedback on the book. I am shipping internationally as well. So there is an option for that. I've got you covered Frenchie fam. No matter where you're from, this book is for you. Anyway, I will speak to you guys soon. And for now, sweet dreams. Bye. To have this love come and bury my stride and carry